Hello, my name is Roland Reyer. I'm a technical specialist at Autodesk Media Entertainment in Europe. In this video, I'd like to talk about a very prominent data type in Bifrost that is all over the place and yet, unfortunately, not documented anywhere. Objects formerly known as amino objects. Objects can somehow be all sorts of things. Polygons, curves, volumes, particles, strands, instances, diagnostic objects, but also settings, influences, even combinations of all of these things. First, let's look at a very simple example of an object. I make a cube in Maya and drag it into the Bifrost editor. It creates an input node with an object output. If this object output is somehow connected to the output of the Bifrost node, I can create such a watch point. The watch point shows me various components of the cube, points, faces, etc. That all looks very much like the data of the cube, but the actual data is not displayed. If you want to know more about the object, you can use the node object dump. Here I define a file name and the object is saved as a text file. With the text editor, I can now take a close look at the content. Of course, this antiquated output method is too cumbersome and the text file is not very clear either. So I prefer to use the compound print object dump to inspect the object. This is better. Here I see all the elements again, points, normals, faces. But here I also see that these are the names of groups and that the actual data is only underneath along with other information. Data groups with exactly these elements are so-called geo-properties. If I query the points of the object with the function getPointPosition, then first the group pointPosition is extracted from the object. Only then the value data is read. The most important principle of Bifrost object are actually these groups of data which can be nested in any way. While the object of the cube has a fixed structure, there are also objects without any structure. The node particle solver settings also outputs an object, but the content looks quite different. No groups, just a few values. This raises the question of how such an object is created. When I dive into the node particle solver settings, I see this structure. To an empty object, Set property assigns just these values and the data type, one after the other. Instead of a number or a string, I can also embed a whole object as a property and so the groups we have already seen with the cube are created. An example of such nesting is the instances object. The output object of the node create instances must contain the points with their position, rotation, size, color, etc. as well as the objects to be put in the place of the points. As we can see, this object is built a bit more complex. Besides the instances settings, we see the complete points object as well as, in this case, three different geometries in an array of objects. These arrays are special because while the elements of the array must be Bifrost objects, their structure and the content can be quite different. So it turns out that a Bifrost object is nothing more than a container for values as well as for Bifrost objects. To help learn this principle, it is a good exercise to simply build your own object and use it to bundle data in the graph and transport it that way. I start with an empty object. To this object I add various values or properties and then I embed the complete cube. Like all sub-objects, the cube needs a name. In the output, the names are sorted alphabetically. And done. It's not that complicated, is it? One more thing. The node print object dump somehow knows what the type of the object is, for example, mesh or points or strands, etc. These types are defined using schemas. Some schemas are already found in the installation of Bifrost. The node create object from schema can be used to create ready-made, but empty, objects 
of these types, mesh points, strands and volume. As you can see, objects in Bifrost are not very complicated. And if you use the print compounds, they become almost transparent and easy to understand. Objects are a good way to bundle data and forward it to other nodes. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments.